Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the gesture recognizer in the iOS framework to make it very easy for you to attach events to the UI views. Okay? If you haven't seen the previous videos I highly recommend that you watch part number 21 and part number 22 uh, that has another different way of doing the things and uh, in this one we are going to use gesture recognizers. So if I go ahead and take a look at my storyboard you can see it's a pretty simple uh, basically view and it has a another view inside it which is called a blue view. Okay so if I go to my header file you can actually see that I'm uh, creating an IB outlet of a UI view it's called a blue view and everything is connected and everything so you you don't really have to worry about that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create the, uh, the, the gesture recognizers. Okay. Let me get the name because I always forget the name of that thing. Um, okay. Tab gesture recognizer. So UI tab gesture recognizer. And you can say one finger uh, double tap or two taps okay so this the ta tap gesture recognizer will allow you to capture a uh, certain kind of events okay and uh, you can easily create these classes and hook them up with your own views so in it with target target is self and selector basically is a method that will be called once you double tap or tap two times on a particular UI view control. Okay, we're just going to call it one finger two taps. Okay, and after that, we can set some properties on it one finger two taps, set number of touches required, which means uh, you know you can have two touches, you can have four or five touches, and you can have many touches on the iPad device. We're just going to say one touch is actually required and then uh, set the number of taps required. So we're going to say number of taps required are two because you know, you're going to tap on a UI view two times and then it will take an effect. Um, and then at, I think the last thing is just to hook it up. So I'm just going to say add gesture recognizer and then we can simply say uh, one finger two taps. So this will hook up your blue view which is simply a UI view to uh, to receive these two uh, you know taps basically so once you double tap on the blue view it's going to start receiving events or that event will be fired basically um, you can go ahead and you know create this particular event which is one finger two taps and you can do anything you want with it so um, we can simply say over here that this particular event is fire so one finger two taps okay so if we run this and let's go ahead and uh, pull up the console uh, I'm not sure if you can see but you know I'll, I'll click it multiple times so you can actually see what's going on so here we go you can see that uh, whenever I double click it, it fires. What about if I single click it? See, nothing actually happens. So most of the code is already written for you by the, uh, you know, by Apple, uh, and they take care of these minor, these actually not minor, but very major things because when you double click something, there's a gap between, and that gap is not that much because if I click one like this. And this it won't fire so it listens to the second click or a second tap uh, at a you know at an interval basically it has to be I don't know point some milliseconds and it's very accurate okay so if I click like see if now I'm clicking uh, double tapping it and it's uh, capturing these events and you can do uh, anything you want once you capture this event um, I think one of the things that is used, I mean the double tap is used is to zoom in, okay? Uh, 
This is not really part of this screencast, but I'm just going to show you how you can do that. It's pretty easy using the block syntax for the animation. Okay. So if you are if you want to animate using block syntax, it's pretty easy. And uh, self dot blue view dot I think it's called transform and see here transform scale and just, just make it twice the size okay so let's run it again now instead of actually displaying the message onto the console we're going to do something visual so once you click on it two times you can see that there's a gradual animation and it goes uh, you know it increases in size and becomes like two times bigger right um, you can have some other events I mean you can have uh, UI swipe gesture recognizer and we can do that UI swipe gesture recognizer and now you can swipe from you know pretty much in any direction up to down down to up left to right and right to left so we are going to say one finger uh, left swipe and the syntax is pretty much the pretty much the same you know for all the uh, gesture recognizers and over here we can also say the selector and we can save one finger left swipe and I think we can set the direction now so one finger left swipe left uh, you know swipe and then UI swipe uh, direction is left so it will be only be called when you are doing a left swipe okay um, now in the end you can simply attach this particular uh, gesture recognizer to the view and you can say one finger left swipe um, let's actually implement this method And all of this can actually be done from a uh, UI point of view also. So they have the controls that you can simply drag and drop on your interface builder or your, uh, what is that, the main, the storyboard, and then you can hook it up. Uh, but I like to show you behind the scene what actually happens and how you can use these classes to do different things. Okay. So UI view animate with duration 2.0. Uh, two point of me, I mean two seconds basically, and um, let's actually finish this up. So what you want to do is when you uh, swipe to the left, I'm just going to do a CG rectangle uh, frame, um, and then CG rectangle make. Basically, this position self dot blue view dot frame dot uh, origin dot y. Uh, Pretty much the every other thing will remain the same, and uh, this is uh, what size dot width and self dot blue view dot frame dot size dot height, and then um, finally we can assign this thing so self dot uh, blue uh, view set frame, and then we can simply assign the new frame to it. Okay. So let's run this and uh, let's actually swipe left and you can actually see that the view now is moving onto the left hand side. If I swipe right nothing will happen and now I'm swiping left but it is already in that position so it's not going to move anywhere. So you can do uh, many kind of animation effects and many different kind of effects uh, that you also see in the games using the UI gesture recognizer and you you have already seen that how easy it is to uh, attach the gesture recognizers to the UI view control and all that okay so I hope you like this video and if you do and you are interested in contributing uh, you can always give donations to PayPal at the email address which is Azam Sharp at gmail.com. Now I will be writing an article, a very detailed article about 
the gesture recognizers and about uh, what I discussed in part number 21 and 22, which was the touches begin event and touches cancel event. So check out the website also. And website you should know by, by the, this time now, huh? right? Uh, highoncoding.com. Go over there, read. Uh, there are many different articles over there that you will enjoy. Hope you like this video and thank you very much and stay tuned for more.